Amazon sells ham radios, as you might be aware, sir. What are my top picks on Amazon for actual ham radios, both handheld and mobiles? These are the top 14 ones that I recommend today. Let's go. First off, I want to say that Amazon, I am an Amazon affiliate and I can earn qualifying commissions from uh, certain items on this, this platform. So if you check the links in the description below, you can purchase what you want to and I might earn commissions on that. And those do help to move the channel forward. So thank you very much for those of you who do that. The second thing I'll say is always check prices. Always check prices. Sometimes you can find a deal on Amazon, sometimes not so much. So always check prices. I know Amazon has an excellent return policy. A lot of you don't have a ham radio store close to your home. So Amazon is a good uh, way to get items fast. But always check prices. Don't overpay for anything. So let's check out this list. The Baofangs are probably some of the most popular ones on Amazon. As I do with most of these lists, I'm going to start at the lowest price and go up from there. This is a two-pack for $36 which makes them each about 18 bucks okay now you can get the um Quan shang uv k5 for about 27 and it has a lot of extra features that you don't get in a baofeng but the baofeng uv5r is a tried and true there's several models of baofeng today that i'm going to talk about today i think baofengs have a place i think they're great for a starter radio get your feet wet get into ham radio keep in your go bag take out camping if you drop it lose it falls off the boat, falls in the river, you lose it in the mud, you run over it with the truck after it falls off of your hood. No one cares. It's a cheap radio. It works well for what it is, but it's going to be a beginner's radio for most people. I've said that on a lot of videos before, and I've had commenters come by that say, well, I've been a ham for like five years, and I still use my Baofeng. Well, but there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but you should Probably try to expand your horizons just a little bit because Baofeng is a very, very basic radio. The UV5R is 128 channels, no extra bells and whistles, no color screen, no Bluetooth, no APRS, no no digital, no nothing. Very basic radio. Works well for what it is. Two radios here for $36. The next one up is the semi-new Quanshang UVK5. Now, I did a video about adding 220 to this radio. Hayden at the Ham Radio DX channel has a lot, has a whole series of videos about all kinds of different hacks you can do to this radio. There's a firmware modification called an IJV firmware, and that's the one that opens this radio up the most. So check that out. I'm probably going to be doing a second video about this radio to where we upgrade to that firmware, but that one comes in at about 28 bucks today. Now we have a Fang UV5R 8 watt, a little bit more expensive, uh, but there's a 5% off coupon at the time of this recording. Comes with all this extra stuff right here this is pretty cool uh charging box to an extra battery so battery times two programming cable microphone Ken kenwood k connector 33 bucks for that that is number three today on the list again uv5r for 34 dollars this is a uv is this says uv5r upgrade uv21r now i haven't tried the 21 i've done the 13 and the 17 and both of those are pretty cool because they have a thousand memory channels and they have USB-C charging. I'm not sure about programming. I think maybe, yeah, I think it's programming both. I think it's USB-C port for programming and charging. I could be wrong about programming. I have to check that out and see. I think it depends on the version of the specific models as well. As well, They have a 17 Pro and a 17 Plus. But anything with USB-C charging is A-OK -okay in my book. This is a Fang 21R, new for 2023, I believe. Full kit, comes with the cable, two antennas, two chargers, USB and base, shorter antenna, longer antenna for more range and that kind of thing, and an earpiece right there. Uh, $29 for that one, so that actually should be back here. That's actually probably a better price. Let's put that one as number three. That's number three. The 8 watt is number four, although the the UV21R, it has a lot more features. USB-C charging, more memory channels, color screen, that kind of thing. A little bit heavier duty feeling when you, you're holding it. So probably a better radio over, overall. The 8-watt UV5R is going to be number four. Number five is this Radtel RT890. Now, this is very similar to the RT490 that I just reviewed a, long, uh, a short while back. I'll link that video in here somewhere. This turns out to be a pretty darn good radio. This uh, did better on the analyzer than I was expecting it to. You can do 220 on this radio. It's a good version. If, you, if you're if you looking for something with uh, 220 band capabilities, that one has that capability. I'm not sure if the 890 has 220 or not, but it does advertise AM aviation band reception. Full color LCD, 999 memory channels. So that one comes in at about 40 bucks today. 
I'll probably have to pick that one up and do another video on that one because I got a lot of good comments on that Radtel RT490 video that I did. Uh, you guys uh, seem to like that one, so thanks for commenting on that video. That's number five. Number six is this GA5 Tim from Radiodity. Now, again, like I said in the beginning, always check we uh, website prices. Most of the time, I've found that Radiodity puts stuff on Amazon for the same price that they sell it for through their own website. You might be able to get it a little bit quicker through Amazon, depending on where you live, and you've got probably a little bit uh, easier return policy with Amazon because you can, instead of having to box it back up and send it back to Radiotity, you can usually take it to like a UPS store or a Kohl's or a couple other places that do Amazon returns. So there's that right there. Not that you're going to want to return it. Hopefully it works just fine for you. Two 2200 milliamp hour batteries and a 10 watt radio. I did a video about this radio a while back. Had some pretty good results on it. So that's another option there. Comes in at $50, uh, number six on the list today. Number seven on the list, this GS5B from Radiodity. This has been out for a while, and this is a really cool radio because you can program it from an Android phone. I'm not sure if they ever came out with an iOS app or not. When I did the first video about this radio, it only had an Android app. Check the Radiodity website for more information on that. 2,000 milliamp hour battery lasting two to three days on standby. USB-C uh, port in the back for USB-C charging. Comes with a really cool looking... Um, display the display on it's nice and colorful it's got that big flashlight on the bottom if you care about such things but <laughs> but it is android programmable so no need to it connects to your phone via bluetooth no need to worry about a computer or cables just uh, open up your android app start programming the radio to make changes and whatnot and do that so good dual band dual ptt so you can use the ptt on the top or the bottom band not have to change the band from top or bottom and that so it has a lot of great features like that and they still make this this, this radio has been around a while they've done some recent well maybe about a year ago they did an update to the firmware on it so this is still in production and still very well received i still have mine around here somewhere i take it to the hunting lease sometimes because it's uh, it's just a neat radio if i lose it somewhere it's orange so it's easy to find much more easier to find than a black radio that falls off the truck and is sitting in the field somewhere so number seven on that one today. Number eight is a BTEC DMR 6x2 Pro. Now, the 6x2 Pro from BTEC is basically the same radio as the Anytone AT878UV2 Plus. It's about $15 cheaper than the UV2 Plus. It has all the same features, plus BTEC has been pretty good about making updates to the radio. A little bit, two or three new versions of firmware have come out since this radio was released. It's basically the same radio on the inside. I'm pretty sure BTEC partnered with Anytone for this radio, but it has different features and different firmware than the Anytone does, and the price tag's a little bit little bit lower as well. Right here is good. 10,000 talk groups, 4,000 channels, 250 customizable zones, 500,000 digital contacts, 7 watts of output power, and four power levels. So low, mid one, mid two, and high, or something like that. So that this is the Anytone is one of my favorite radios. I carry my Anytone uh, 878 UV2 Plus with me just about everywhere I go. I recently got a, a high capacity battery for it with USB-C charging. So that makes the radio even more useful in the field when you're carrying it around. I have a, a pack, a radio pack on the back of my backpack, so I'll carry it with me pretty much everywhere I go. But the BTEC is, like I said, just about the same radio. And since you can get it for $15 cheaper than what the Anytone is sold for in most places, this could be a very good radio for you to get into DMR and just have all the great features of the Anytone and the BTEC radios. Before we move on to the next few radios in the list today, let me tell you about PCBWay.com. PCBWay is sponsoring this video. They do professional grade CNC printing, circuit board printing, PCB assembly, FPC rigid flex, advanced PCBs, CNC and 3D, professional grade 3D printing. If you're looking at doing a maker project, a kit assembly, any type of professional grade printing, check out PCBWay.com, and if you do use their services, be sure to thank them for supporting Ham Radio 2.0 and tell them that we sent you over there. So thank you to them for supporting the channel. Number nine is the first mobile radio, and we're going to get into mobile radios from this point forward. Now, I have this on the list, but this is actually not one. This is one of the 14. This is not one that I would recommend. I have this on the list because I wanted to show you guys this. There are several Ham radios on Amazon that claim to be a 10 and 12 meter radio. Some of them just claim to be a, uh, 12, a 10 meter radio only. These can include, there's some from Anytone, 
some from President, there's some from Striker, Galaxy, Connex. These are some of the brands. These are meant to be hacked and used on 11 meters. These are not technically ham radios. They get away with selling them in the United States, calling them ham radios. I don't even know if they're FCC certified or not. I'm not familiar with this specific model, the President Lincoln. I had a President Grant way back in the day that we used on 11 meters that probably wasn't originally supposed to be used for that. So just anytime you see a radio that says 10 meter only, check out the types of radios that company is making. Radio Shack used to make a legit 10 meter radio. It was a solid radio. MF MFJ makes a legit 10 meter radio that's pretty solid. The 10 meter radio from Anytone, the AT Quad 5, the AT5555, or the AT6666, those are legit 10 meter radios. They're, they can also be hacked to go on 11 meters, but those are pretty decent 10 meter radios. But just, and I'm not telling you not to get one of these. We as amateurs under Part 97, we have an experimenter's license. We don't have to have a certified radio to use on the airwaves because we can hack into our own radios and build our own stuff. Just be aware of the fact that a lot of these radios that are advertised as 10 meters only or 10 and 12 meters aren't actually ham radios. They are sold that way so that people can buy them, modify them, and use them on the 11 meter CB band. So this is the President Lincoln 2 Plus. I'd like to get one of these into my hands and see what kind of spurious emissions it may or may not have uh, on the 10 and 12 meter band, but also on 11 meters in the tiny SA. Number 10 is an Anytone radio. Anytone uh, AT778 UV dual band transceiver. So here's an Anytone radio, dual band for $124. That is a steal, okay? Any dual band radio for under $200 is, is a heck of a price right here. So the Anytone uh, 778 UV mobile is compiled with FCC regulations complies with Part 15B and Part 97 of FCC rule. It gives the FCC the ID right here. Uh, VHF is 136 to 174. UHF is 400 to 490. 25 watts is the highest output power. That's one reason it's a little bit less. A lot of these radios, a lot, especially the mobile radios, are going to be 40 to 50 watts on high power. This one's only a 25 watt radio, so it's not as expensive. But if you put this radio in, your, it's going to be smaller than some uh, some of the 50 watt radios as well if you put this radio in your small car or your jeep with an external antenna it's going to reach out much much better than just using a handheld radio inside of the car with the antenna inside the car so this is a good option good way to get your feet wet into the mobile dual band radio especially 125 dollars. this one's available for overnight delivery i could get it by 7 a.m tomorrow morning from here so that's number 10 on the list today 125 dollars. number 11 on the list today now i've talked about the th9800 and the only thing i'll say about this one is that the last time i did a video on i included this radio in a video right here down at the bottom it said uh free frequently returned item. It does not say that on this page, but just make sure you get it from a seller that has free returns. This one sold from the TYT store. I ran one of these in my my own vehicle for about a year and a half, and the only problem I had with it is that the mic was really hot. Other than that, it worked well. It holds uh, 999 memory channels. It does 2 meters and 440 FM, but on the left side of the radio, it also does 6 meters and 10 meters FM only. So if you have a general class license, you can talk on 10 meter repeaters, or you can open up 10 meters FM and find you can hit repeaters from several states away when the 10 meter band is up it's a very fun radio to use so the tyt th9800 50 watt crossband mobile car ham radio it's a stupid way to stupid name for it. it it comes in at number 11 today still under 200 bucks so we we, we can't really complain about that number 12 is the btech 50 by 2 50 by 2 meaning 50 watts at two bands so 50 by 2 so only about 20 dollars more than the tyt this is a quad display you'll see right there you can display four channels four frequencies four repeaters four simplex frequencies whatever you want to on the band at the time this is the new second generation mobile radio from btech btech is a u.s company they are i always forget it's either in north dakota or south dakota they are in one of the dakotas they import radios from china they do updates to them they do they you will sell radios sold by btech that BTEC meaning Baofeng Tech, but you will see BTEC sell radios that Baofeng does not offer at all. So they have a lot of their own unique designs, a lot of their own radios, pretty good reputation, great customer service that you can contact inside of the United States. 
So this one comes in for a full-powered dual-band VHF UHF radio, 2 meters and 70 centimeters at $220 today. That is number 12. Number 13 is the Anytone dual-band VHF UHF AT5888UV. Now, don't be confused with this one because I have done videos in the past about the 5888UV3, which is a tri-band radio, and it's this radio, but it adds 220 megahertz band. That radio sells for about 250 ish at rnl.com. He sells out of them pretty quick every time he gets uh, every time he gets a new shipment in. You may or may not be able to find uh, one of those at rnl.com. And if you and if you do, then go go grab that one if you're interested in the 220 megahertz band. But if you don't care about 1.25 meters, this radio from Anytone is just about the same radio, dual band, dual display, has the uh, VHF and UHF on both sides of the band. Uh, lots of great memory channels in that. 758 memory channels, full duplex operation with independent volume and squelch controls, 50 watts of power output on both uh, on the VHF band and 40 watts of power on the UHF band. Cross band repeat multifunction, so you can look at uh, VHF on both sides or UHF on both sides or switch them up however you want to. Anytone makes a great radio. Some of my favorite radios to come out of China. This one's definitely on the list today as second to last, number 13. The fifth and final one is going to be the most expensive, of course, because we're going in order of price again. So thank Thank you for um, thank you for bearing with me today. Thank you for watching this video. I do ask that you comment below if you have anything that you think I should have included. But the fifth one today is the Zygu G90 HF 20 watt QRP radio. Now this is to the top ham radios on Amazon. I didn't say VHF, UHF, or HF. I just said ham radios. This is sold by the Zygu store on Amazon at the time of this recording is four hundred and forty five dollars. If you wait until sales like uh, Dayton Hamvention sales, perhaps some holiday sales, especially Black Friday sales. You can oftentimes find this radio for under $400, maybe around $375, $385, something like that. Um, I think in the past I've seen it as low as like $350. Four to $450 is kind of the normal price when it's not on sale, so it really depends on how badly you want it. If you want it now, then here it is right here. Again, check prices. It might be cheaper on other websites. I don't know. Prices fluctuate all the time. We could look at that, but we're talking about Amazon radios today and Amazon stuff today. This is a great QRP transceiver if you're getting your feet wet into HF radio. A lot of guys I know use the G90. It works well. It's been out for a long time. Zygu's pretty good. Not great, but pretty good about doing firmware updates for it. New firmware came out not too long ago. A lot of people have this radio and really like it, and it's definitely on the list today. Number 14 as your one and only HF radio on the list from Amazon. So again, what do you think I should have included? Do you think I missed it? There's a lot more stuff on Amazon, guys. A lot more stuff on Amazon. There's some TID radios on Amazon that I have not tested. There's other Baofeng models that I have not tested. Other brands of radios I've never even heard of. I found a couple that I ran across today. I'm like, maybe I should grab that and do a test on it because I'm not really sure. So what do you think I should have included? in this list and if you liked this list and you liked this video and you think that i have earned your thumbs up please hit the thumbs up button to this video click on subscribe so that you can keep up with all that i do and thanks for watching today